Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. Man, I'm super excited today. <laughs> I'm super excited today, as you can see, because why we have the parts to my very first bill. Man, I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to get this done, trying to source the parts, uh, trying to get everything together. Uh, trying to get the money together because hey this came everything came out of my pocket so I'm excited um, I can't wait to get everything done but first we got to talk about the parts we got to talk about why I chose it um, this is not a budget bill uh, this is definitely a high-end bill before we get into this video uh, definitely if this is your first time on my channel welcome here we do everything tech all things tech whatever it is we like to do it uh, but definitely if you are a returning viewer man i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart <laughs> and the reason why is because you keep everything going so hey grab some snacks grab something to drink and let's get into this video all right guys so we got the parts here so the first thing that we're going to go over and talk about is the motherboard this right here is the Oris ultra z390 and uh man with this motherboard right here um i initially uh picked up a asus maximus um 11 hero wi-fi um but after doing some research um and also realizing that this was the actual board uh that i was actually supposed to get um and a couple of reasons being one uh we are definitely going to be overclocking the 9900k this particular boy has a 12 phase vram uh, plus one uh, that actually goes over to the igpu um and so that's just the power that gets delivered to the actual processor so when overclocking um you definitely don't want anything that's holding it back so that's you know definitely one so number two is that the dim slots on the actual motherboard um is made uh, with the six layer pcb and man it's actually made for four by eight uh, which means that you it definitely benefits from having all four dim slots uh feel uh so which kind of leads me into the memory that we have and also number three it comes with three and i love the number three it comes with three m.2 nvme slots and man a lot of motherboards only comes with maybe one or two um, but this particular one comes with three and so we'll get into that as well so for the memory man um i had this in my alienware or r7 um and this memory is awesome uh, so this is a total of 32 gigabytes so i don't have rgb memory yet uh, because we already had this um on hand i didn't want to buy any more memory right now but we definitely look about uh, maybe changing that in the future and get some RGB RAM in the future. By the way, all the parts that you see, I actually picked these up from Micro Center. Um, and these particular uh, RAM sticks, uh, they were actually going as kits. So I bought this one for about a hundred bucks. And, um, and also bought this one for about a hundred bucks as well. So a total of 32 gigabytes worth of G-Skill memory. Man, love this memory. It performs very well. And the actual motherboard, I forgot to mention, costs $239.99. All right, so one of the major things that's on that's a part of this setup one of the major parts is this baby right here <laughs> now this is the i9 9900k and for those who know about this processor this is the pretty much the fastest processor that you could buy right now it comes with eight cores 16 threads it's a beast and if you look at this packaging first it comes in this pouch now this is the first process i've seen that comes in a pouch like this it came like this and then look at this packaging do you see this that is freaking amazing how they do that so i definitely be keeping this on the shelf forever uh but man this process right here i picked this up um the price is actually going down last time you know, the first time i looked at this processor it was around about 525 um, and then it dropped down to like 489 and then it dropped down again just recently to 479.99 um so um it's a little bit on the prices side but the performance and everything that we're going to get out of this is going to be absolutely amazing basically we have no bottlenecks when it comes to the actual processor because it can pretty much handle anything from 4k editing to um, getting the highest frame rates when it comes to your video games and of course this is a gaming system and it's an editing system but it's a gaming system <laughs> um, but it handles anything that you could be able to throw at it um, it's a workhorse um, it's a beast and we'll definitely be overclocking this to five gigahertz on all cores and if it could go a little bit more you know we'll definitely do that but I want at least five gigahertz on all cores uh, but hey beast mode when it comes to this process right here this is definitely gonna last a while so I love it. 
All right, so the next thing that we're gonna talk about is the storage. This right here is the Sandus Ultra 3D SSD. It's a 512 gigabyte SSD drive, SATA 3. Um, I actually pulled this from my Alienware War R7. This is what I was using to play all my games on. Uh, so, and that's what we're just gonna continue to do. Then we have the other beast, the Samsung 970 Evo, 500 gigabytes. Um, man, I actually pulled this from my Alienware War R7 as well. So I was trying to save money on this build. This is an NVMe M.2 drive. This thing is blazing fast. We're definitely gonna be using this for the OS, definitely some programs and possibly maybe some little bit extra storage for some games. Um, I'm definitely looking into some more storage when it comes to games as well. I'm just waiting for the prices to go down just a little bit more because I want to get an extra NVMe drive just for games. And then we have the new, just pick this up, uh, 970 EVO Plus. Uh, so they make some upgrades to the speed, the endurance, and stuff like that. This is 250 gigabytes. So I am actually going to be using this as a scratch disk um, and hosting and working from uh, video files, especially when it comes to like video game recordings and stuff like this. Uh, this is what this is going to be a workhorse drive. Um, so everything is going to be about speed when it comes to this system. I'm going to be using mainly for gaming, but definitely I'm not going to be able to get into some 4K video editing and all that good stuff. Uh, and this is going to help me out when it comes to that. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the actual what we're going to use to cool that beast of a process that the 9900K. This baby right here. Now this is the Corsair H115i Platinum RGB Edition. Uh, man, I was looking at all-in-one coolers for so long doing some research trying to figure out what was going to be the best one for the 9900k in my system so of course uh my system uh, you don't see it up here because i can only fit this on my actual desk but the computer case that i have is the corsair obsidian 500d se rgb um, it's a premium case so it comes with three of these fans and these fans are rgb fans these are the ll120 120 millimeter uh, which are great fans uh, when it comes to how quiet they are, but also provides a lot of airflow and stuff like that. And so this particular fan, I actually bought an extra one of these uh, that I'm gonna be using as an exhaust on the back of the actual case. I bought this because one, it comes with RGB. Uh, the fans on here are the ML140s. Uh, so it comes with two um, and they are great performance as far as airflow and all that good stuff. Um, but I want to make sure I got everything Corsair when it came to the fans and the RGB because the case comes with a Commander Pro. Um, and if you don't know about the Commander Pro, you could control up to six fans, like RGB strips, everything, all with one controller so I don't have to have multiple wires and none of that stuff. Uh, so I was trying to make sure I made this as seamless as possible. Um, but this all-in-one cooler does a great job. It's going to control the temperatures of the 9900K even with the overclocking. Um, it's a 280 millimeter uh, cooler and it also comes with the uh, pre-applied uh, thermal paste already on it um, but we did buy some more thermal paste and I'll get into that a little bit later uh, just in case if I mess up something and I need to reapply it so uh, we got some backups so <laughs> it's pretty cool but once we get this in the case it's going to be awesome so the next thing that we got um, and I'm not going to pick it up because I got so much stuff that's over here right now but in this uh, particular box in the back this is the Corsair Gaming Bundle. Um, I picked this up a while back. Um, it's not new, but uh, when I bought it, it came with the K55 RGB Corsair uh, keyboard, uh, which is awesome. It lights up. So if you've seen a couple of my videos, you would see that actual keyboard. Um, it's great. Uh, but it also came with the headset, the HS550, which is, which is a great headset. Stereo sound, comes with a microphone. Um, and all that good stuff. And then it comes with the RGB Harpoon mouse um, as well. I got that kit for $69.99 at Best Buy when um, it came out. But I think now, I don't know if you could be able to get this kit anymore. Cause last time I checked, uh, they Best Buy wasn't selling it anymore. Uh, but you could look around, but I got it for 69 bucks. Oh, and also the water cooler, the H115i uh, Platinum. The price of the water cooler is $169.99, so I got a pretty good deal on that. Just to let you know, I'm forgetting about the actual prices. The Sandus Ultra, uh, this ran for about 65 bucks when I picked this up. 970 Evo Plus 250 gigabyte NVM drive. This was 87 bucks. The 970 Evo 500 gigabyte 
uh, NBA draft. I think I got this for 149. Just the actual extra fan. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. these fans are expensive just the actual fan um, by itself was $39.99 um, so in this Corsair it has a great reputation great brand um, but yeah $39.99 just for one fan so uh, let just let you know and then the case came with three of these so super amped about that um, but yeah uh, they're, they're a little pricey, they're a little bit on the expensive side. All right, so two more things that we have here and then we're definitely gonna get into the bill on the second part of this video. So we have the King of the Hill. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know um, I purchased this not too long ago. I guess it's been maybe a month or two now. Uh, the RTX EVGA 2080 XC Ultra. This ran for about $819.99. Um, definitely a expensive card, but it's the next best thing to a 2080 Ti. Um, so I bought this just for performance. Uh, definitely trying to get the best frame rate that I could be able to get without spending $1,200 on a graphics card, which is the 2080 Ti. It's already overclocked from the factory, uh, which is why I got it. Um, and then you can actually overclock this. It has a little bit more headroom to overclock it a little bit more. Uh, so I definitely love this card. Um, again, this was $819.99. It's beast mode when it comes to video games and editing and all that good stuff. Then you have the last but not least, the power supply. So with the power supply, this is the EVGA uh, Supernova G3, 850 watts. This is more than enough power for what we need, uh, but definitely uh, it's always good. This is uh, 80 plus uh, gold rated, so you definitely wanna make sure that you got something that's dependable when it comes to running uh, your stuff, especially with the 9900K and the uh, RTX 2080 and stuff like that. You wanna make sure that you have something that's sufficient, and this is definitely gonna do the job. Um, I also pulled this uh, from my uh, Alienware War R7. Um, so we definitely, you know, trying to make sure we offset some of the costs. Uh, and speaking of the Alienware War R7, uh, great pre-built system. Uh, we definitely going to be using that as a editing rig and also for streaming. Uh, so if you wanted to know for all of my uh, Alienware War uh, fans out there, uh, if you want to know what I'm going to be doing with that computer, it's going to be a second computer. It's going to be a workhorse. It's going to be used for streaming um, and doing some editing and stuff like that. So uh, stay tuned to that. Um, and I definitely still, you know, if you want to see some other upgrades, I've done a bunch of upgrades to the Alienware War R7 uh, to be able to help you out when you're trying to make changes to your system. So Supernova G3. All right, guys. So um, of course, I got screwdrivers and stuff that's here. Definitely got to have this. <laughs> Uh, USB jump drive with Windows 10 uh, ISO um, installation already on here. Uh, so we're definitely going to be using this to install Windows. We have Velcro uh, strips for cable management. Picked this up today um, as well. Definitely, it's a magnetic tray uh, for a screw so you don't lose anything. Uh, so there's definitely something that's good to have. And this was recommended to me. This is the IC Diamond uh, Thermal uh, Compound. I got this just in case uh, for the processor and all-in-one cooler. Uh, the, you know, the, the Corsair H115i uh, Platinum, it comes with uh, thermal paste already on it. And I heard that it's actually just as good as using any of the aftermarket thermal pastes. Uh, but just in case if I mess something up or if I don't like what I'm seeing when it comes to the temperatures, I will reapply this. So that's it, guys. So this is the end of the video for part one of my first bill um i definitely just want to explain everything that i got all of the parts the reason why i got them um so in the next video it's going to be nothing but the bill step by step uh the good the bad and the ugly <laughs> uh, but definitely just stay tuned um definitely i appreciate you for watching the video all the way through and man i see you in the next video